back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be giving you my top tips on how to improve your roblox gfx's so let's get right into it so the first tip i have is to use a rig for your gfx's what a rig is is a base that you will apply your avatar on top of when you load into blender you just you know delete the cube and then change up here it says blender render make sure you're in cycles render and then up here click file then open then i will leave the link to the rigs i use in the description but you want to go to your downloads and find the folder then what you can do is delete the head and leave the rest of the body so i'm going to select the entire head if you want a bit more in detail tutorial on how to use a rig then you can check out mine um it's in my gfx tutorial that i posted a while ago then your avatar needs some texture so you will then add your texture just import that and then you will import your avatar at the head and whatever else you want you should use a rig because it helps blend your limbs so much smoother so that is the first tip i have for you guys the second tip i have also has to do with rigs but it is how to use multiple rigs so what you need to do is import the same rig you just used and what you need to do is then just delete the head just as always so once you have deleted the entire head what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and what you want to do is select this person button next to the rig so now everything is selected then you press shift to be able to select all of the body then press command c or control c if you're on a windows and then command z or control v depending on if you're on a mac or a windows so then this will happen i know it looks confusing so use this arrow tool down here and just drag the rig over for a second then you want to find the part where it says rig 0.001 and you click plus and then click post it's gonna be a little confusing at first but i promise you'll get to it so click pose and once it's all selected you have to drag the rig back over because there's all of this extra stuff at the bottom that we don't need so to delete it you can just use control and dragging and then you can select as much as you want and once it's all selected you can delete by pressing x then it's super easy from here on out just import the mesh onto both of them so So then again, I would import the heads and move the rigs. So the next step I have for you is how to use different textures like glass and gloss. I'll just use this model by Angel Elves. Export the model just as usual. So export selection. Then head back over to Blender. And I'm going to change my room to Cycles Render. Okay, so as you can see, I've imported everything as normal and I now have my room. A lot of light bulbs that you find in Roblox Studio have the light inside and you'll know just by zooming in. So what you want to do is just go inside and select the light part so as you can see i have the light selected and i'm gonna delete it because it really just does not look good i'm not gonna delete all of them for now just because i want to show you how to do it but normally yes i would recommend deleting them so then i'm gonna select the item i want to give the texture but you want to select this button this orange one at the top and this should be up here just select the one you want to add the texture to and then right here under surface you want to click add shader now like i said i want to use glass in this one so i'm going to select the glass option you can see i have it it says glass and here is the color but as you can see we now have a glassy texture obviously if you're patient and let it load you'll be able to see that it is glassy so the next thing i'm going to do is to make it a bit more realistic i'm going to give this top metal part a glossy texture and again it is preset to white i'm gonna make this a light metal color it's um dimension texture and realism to your gfx's but yeah as you can see it's still a little blurry but i'll put an example on the screen of what one would look like so that is my next tip to use an hdri in your gfx so what is an hdri hdri is a realistic background for your gfx and also realistic lighting so i think the most popular website to find these is hdri haven i will leave the link to this in the description this is completely safe to use no viruses or anything of that sort so once you load on the website this is what you'll see you want to click hdris in the top corner once you're here you have so many categories for this one i'm gonna click sunrise slash sunset but you can choose and explore and what's cool is that they also change a texture so you know how we were just using gloss and glass well if we imported an hdri the texture would improve i'm gonna use this one called small harbor just because i really like how it looks so i'm gonna just select it and once you're on the page basically this is the background you will get in blender and this is what the textures this is what they will look like and there's a download i download the 4k version so let it download and as you can see this one is called small harbor so now i'm going to go into blender and i want to import this hdri so i'm going to select the three lines again and drag them down and 
again go to node editor this is seeming pretty similar to the rigs but it's different right here so what you want to do is click the globe icon and click use nodes and you also want to select the little globe right here so now basically what this does is puts you in the node editor for the world so then click shift and a and click search and you want to type in environment texture and just place it wherever you want this yellow dot and you want to drag it and connect it to this yellow dot right here and click open and go to your downloads and you want to find the hdri that we just downloaded so as you can see right over here okay so i just found my hdri and i'm going to select it and open the image okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to look over here just to show you what it would look like so i'm going to go back into the rendered view and let this load so as you can see, you now have a realistic background for your GFXs. This is what I've used. I use this a lot in my animations, but let's look over here. So it's completely 3D, so you can spin around and you'll have a background. But let's go over here and this is what it'll look like. Okay, so as you can see, we now have a fully 3D background for our GFXs and it looks pretty cool. But I think the reason most people use HDRIs is for the lighting. Many HDRIs have like shadows on your avatar and just light you up more realistically and they also help improve textures. I'll actually pop a few up on the screen of an HDRI GFX and how the lighting has changed. So the last and final tip I have for today, I actually already have a tutorial on and that is to use a room model in your GFX. So what are room models? They are user created 3D rooms that you can import into Blender and use. So let's go into Roblox Studio and let's choose a room model. Okay, so this is one of my room models. Um, you can get this on my profile. So this one, as you can see, is just like a simple room. Basically, they just give your GFX a much nicer look because if you don't have one of these, then your background is just going to be plain colored, which will look cute, but not very detailed and just not as put together so these really add a lot to the gfx these are all the tips i have for you guys today i really hope this video helped you and if it did please give it a thumbs up so that other people can see it i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye pearls